Breaking right now at 11, a Philadelphia police officer rushed to the hospital after reportedly suffering a medical emergency in her patrol car. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dawn Timoney. The Philadelphia Police Commissioner just arriving at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital moments ago. Our Jennifer Joyce is there live. Jen, what can you tell us at this point? Hey, Don, um, we are actually uh, being joined by uh, the police commissioner right now. She's going to give us an update. Please stand by. Good evening. I'll share with you uh, the very little that we know. At this time, uh, shortly before 9 o'clock p.m., uh, some witnesses uh, saw that an officer <clears throat> that was assigned to an overtime assignment in the 1800 block of Christopher Columbus Boulevard, it's the TJ Maxx Home Goods parking lot area, saw that the police officer was unresponsive. Uh, 911 was called. We responded to the scene, uh, attempted CPR. The officer was transported here to Jefferson Hospital where unfortunately she was pronounced. At this time, we don't have any additional information as to what happened or why, but I can tell you that this officer has been on the department for quite some time uh, and has been a part of the PPD family for at least 24 24 years uh, and she's married to also a very dedicated police officer here in the police department that's all we know at this point and uh, hopefully we get to the bottom of what happened but as you can see behind me uh, there are a lot of officers here that are not only here in support but they're here grieving and they're mourning because she was just that special to that many people did you ever have a chance to meet her you know, I've come across a lot of officers in passing, definitely uh, came across her husband in passing, uh, had the opportunity to connect with some family in the hospital and to briefly speak with her husband uh, while there. But I've heard, again, nothing but amazing things about her dedication and her commitment to the police department over the years. And it's just tragic how this is all unfolded, not just for, for us here, but for her family as well. Are you able to share which district she was working She with? was assigned, I believe, to uh, the 3rd District as a school officer. Um, and again, that's that's all I can share with you at this point. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, Don. so as you just heard uh, from Commissioner Outlaw, what we know is that this was a female police officer who has been on the force for quite some time. I believe she said 20, 24 years. Um, she is married to uh, another uh, Philadelphia police officer and suffered a, a medical emergency uh, while working in South Philadelphia um, off of Columbus Boulevard. Uh, she was uh, working an overtime shift um, and some witnesses came across the officer and found her to be unresponsive um, and unfortunately she was pronounced uh, here at Thomas Jefferson Hospital. Uh, during that interview with Commissioner Outlaw, you could see uh, she was she was very emotional. Um, again, this is this is in incredibly emotional for all of these officers who are now preparing to escort um, their fellow officer um, through the city. Uh, we are told um, that she is going to her body will be transported in the ambulance um, after given a. a a, an official salute um, and the honors that that she so deserves um, and then that ambulance uh, will head over to police headquarters off of uh, Spring Garden um, so again all of this is is unfolding right now the police presence since we arrived on scene um, 
has grown tremendously um, as all of these officers uh, prepare to offer a final salute uh, to this female police officer, Dawn. Jennifer Joyce. Jennifer Joyce live for us tonight at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital where a police officer was rushed and we are just learning has passed away. We'll bring you the latest information as we get it.